child out. Oh, mother, I can't wait to see what she's like. You must remember, dear, this child is most unfortunate. She does not have a mother or a father, so you mustn't flaunt her out too much. It's not polite talking to children about what themselves don't possess. Afternoon, Mrs. Berry, Diana. This is Anne. How are you, Anne? Beautifully lovely name. Diana's my favorite heathen goddess. Diana is a very nice little girl. Her mother is very particular about who she plays with. Now you don't want to keep her late for school. Here's your note for Mr. Phillips. I'll just slip over to your house if I may, Miss Barry, and borrow that dress pattern you were telling me about. Very well, ma'am. Mind you behave yourself now, Diana. Yes, Bye, dear. mother. Goodbye. Wait, mother, I have the best idea. Can Anne come with me to the Sunday school picnic on Saturday? A picnic? <laughs> well, I think that's for Miss Cuthbert to decide, Diana. Oh, Miss Marilla, there's going to be ice cream. <gasps> They're going to have ice cream. What's that? Oh, you're teasing. <laughs> if the child has never had a taste of it, Marilla, this might be a good opportunity. Well, Please. I suppose if the parents are going along oh, this well. Everyone's going, Marilla. Well, I don't suppose there's any harm in it. <laughs> Land's sakes, child, hurry along or you'll be late for school. <laughs> oh, we can go swimming at the picnic, too. I heard Tilly Bro almost drowned last year. What a romantic experience to nearly have been drowned. No. <laughs> the homework got to be done. Think it's going to be. That's fun.